Um, imagine what now? Standing date uh -huh. every Thursday for 23 years. Awesome. We actually found a group that's doing that. They continue to do this at one of the oldest music venues in Dallas. Uh, everybody is welcome to the circle. There's just one rule. The only thing electric allowed is the campfire. Oh boy. Chief photojournalist Mark Muller sat in for the evening. Take a look. It was built between 1908 and 1911. It's always been the Sons of Herman Hall. This is a, it's kind of our weekly therapy. We started doing this in 1994 as an offering to the community. This is kind of like a step up from your living room, your bedroom, or your back porch or whatever. The name says it all. Electric campfire, acoustic jam. So what we do is we just go around in a circle and honor whomever is here, skill level, talent level, whatever they want to do, sing a cappella, uh, you know, play a guitar, uh, beat on a drum and sing or whatever, but that's the spirit of it. Beautiful. Awesome. I love it. Thank you, Dan. Thank We've had guys come down the circle, Pat Green sat in our circle early days, and uh, I mean, we've had just all kinds of legends. There's a ton of guys played here that's not on the wall. You know, Arlo Guthrie, John Hartford, uh, we just didn't get a picture of them. <laughs> People will play for three hours back there. Some might play for 30 minutes here, move over there, move around. But that's the concept. You just move around when you want to. A little hard for some people who've never really given up their microphone or given up their amplifier, you know, to sit down and, and just really reveal themselves in a setting like this. come in, you know, no matter what their talent level is, no matter what instrument they play, and they're welcome in this circle. People will settle in, you know, wherever the feeling kind of gels. Anytime you gather, uh, the right people at the right time will make the right thing happen. And that's kind of what's happened here in the last 23 years. This is about all I do. I used to have a band, we played around town, but this was, we always kept Thursday open for our therapy. <laughs> so a campfire provides a, uh, a focal point, but it also acts as a beacon. Before there were city limits, before there were any kind of definition of territory, you know, you'd see a campfire off in the distance if you're out walking or riding a horse. That was the place that you were going to go. You were kind of, you, you were just headed that way because you could see the line. And when you got there, you hope that you're welcome. And that's what we've tried to do here is make sure that all of our campfires welcome whomever walks in the door.